please reload those six machines. Congratulations to all of our winners so far. It's now time for the first of our special Yours to Discover draws of the evening. The prize is a complete fun-packed weekend for two at one of the many fine resort areas in Ontario. All you have to do is pay the transportation and you're given a whole choice of resorts in Ontario to find out what is most convenient for you. Now, in order to win this weekend for two, you must match all six digits. That means we need the machines rolling. They are, and we need Greg Bears for it again. Interesting gentleman, Paul Rainville is from Mattawa. Paul, what do you do here? I work at the, at the hospital as director of finance. So uh, I, I was going to say you're into a lot of money, but you hope you're into a lot of money up there. Yeah, we're looking for some cool cash tonight. <laughs> okay, good luck. Thank you very much. Button is on the front. Give it a good press, please, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Heading for a weekend for two in Ontario. We need six balls to drop from that machine. This is our first bonus number tonight during our special one-hour Winterio coming to you from the town of Mattawa, all part of 26,000 prizes. Two red lights still flashing, four balls are down, all part of $1.5 million we'd like to give away tonight on Winterio. All the numbers are down. We have a four. Following the four, it's an eight. From the eight, we go to a two. From the fourth machine, it's a five. Next, Valerie holds up a four. From the last machine, it's another four. So if you have four, eight, two, five, four, four in that order, then you've just won a fantastic holiday weekend for two in Ontario. And now, if you reload those machines, if you are a winner, please contact the Ontario Prize Office for a list of the Ontario holiday packages available. Now, tonight, as we mentioned, it's a special one-hour Ontario, and we're discovering the near north. Stop number one is North Bay. It's the city on Lake Nipissing that opens the doors to one of the province's most diverse and beautiful areas called the near north. This is it the gateway to the north in North Bay. This arch is a symbol of a city that links Ontario's north and south. It's a major center for transportation, culture, and tourism. There's a lot to keep a visitor busy. Lying at the eastern end of Lake Nipissing, North Bay is the ideal spot to begin a tour of the near north. Welcoming visitors is something that comes quite naturally to the people who live here. After all, they have been doing it ever since the Nipissing Indian Band welcomed the explorer Etienne Brule in 1603. There's one particular spot in Calendar just outside North Bay that's attracted thousands of visitors over the years. Such luminaries as Clark Gable, Joan Crawford, and Charlie Chaplin all made their way to the little house that became a legend, the birthplace of the Dion Quintuplets. On May the 28th, 1934, Mrs. Dion gave birth to five identical baby girls. It was an event that caught the imagination of people everywhere, and the Quince provided a happy diversion for a world troubled by depression and war. The Quince Home Museum is full of fascinating articles and photos that document the lives of the only identical quintuplets ever to survive birth. But it also brings back a time very different from our own when the world fell in love with five little girls from Calendar, Ontario. There are more than 10 sandy beaches scattered throughout North Bay. They offer a chance for the vacationer to relax under the northern sun. Take your pick of Trout Lake or the shore of Lake Nipissing. Out on Lakeshore Drive, there are restaurants and accommodation to suit every taste and budget. And you're never far from the beach. That's just one side of Lake Nipissing. The other side is the legend of this haunting northern lake, a legend you can discover aboard the Chief Commander 2. The Chief Commander 2 sets out from North Bay for six hours of exploration into Nipissing French River country. Come aboard and sail a legend. The first inhabitants of Nipissing arrived about 11,000 years ago. These were nomadic Indians who hunted and fished on the edge of the Ice Age glaciers. Their way of life slowly evolved with the retreat of the ice, leading to a woodland Indian culture about 3,000 years ago. When Champlain came here in the 1600s, 
he met a group of Ojibwe's settled by the lake. They called themselves Nipissing, meaning at the lake. Lake Nipissing played a big part in the fur trade, and it's estimated that 50% of the furs coming from the west traveled by the French River Nipissing route. The waters echoed the songs of the brave voyageurs as they paddled their great fur-laden canoes. Then came the age of the steamer, great paddle wheelers that flourished with the lumber trade. It was the era of the entrepreneur, and fortunes came and went by the shores of Lake Nipissing. Today, Lake Nipissing is home to pleasure craft and cruise ships whose passengers come to enjoy the natural beauty and the wildlife. Now, there's plenty of both to be found. But that's not to say that the voices of the past don't live on. The legends of the Manitou Islands are still part of local lore. It started with the tale of Snowbird, a beautiful maiden who met a tragic death on the Manitous with her lover, an Iroquois brave. The old people say you can still hear her cries at night. To this day, no cottages have lasted on the islands, and several attempts at mining came to an early end. The Chief Commander, too, lets you discover the legends of the Nipissing French River country. Why not make it a part of your visit to Ontario's near north? coming to you tonight from Mattawa. If you would like more information about Ontario's near north or any vacation area in Ontario, all you have to do is call Toronto 9654008 or outside Toronto call toll free 1-800-268-3735. Now we're ready for the first of our $100,000 grand prizes. In order to do that, we have to introduce you to a seventh machine right now, which will be loaded with four balls labeled A, B, C, and D. So Val, if you'll please load those four balls right now. In order to win that amount, you must match all six numbers as well as the letter from this machine. So we wish you good luck. Roy, we will ask to roll seven machines. Greg Beresford, who do we have? Well, a gentleman who, uh, well, he's, he's from Mattawa, I can say that first key, and I don't think that we can go to too many major communities, at least in this province, and not find a major winner like Guy. Back in 78, he won $100,000. Was that a thrill for you? It was, right. What was your first reaction? What was the first thing you did? Well, not too much, really. You didn't go out and buy yourself a boat or something like a no. Cadillac? I took a, a good holiday. Okay, Guy, thank you very much. $100,000, press the button. Thank you, Guy, for pushing the button and also sharing your good luck and good news with other Winterio players. Heading for $100,000. This is the first of our grand prizes of that amount. We'll have three all together. If you can match all six digits as well as the letter from the seventh machine. All the balls are down. We start from the left with a zero. From a zero, we go to another zero. Next to that, it's an eight. Should mention that Valerie gets married one month from today. So she's, <laughs> congratulations again. We have a two. Two more numbers and a letter, Valerie. We have to keep you working right up to the wedding. We have an eight. And a zero. What letter do we need for the first $100,000 prize? It is a C, so if you have C008280 in that order, then you've just won $100,000.